Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's episode, we will talk about two propagation techniques for succulents. Number one would be the soil propagation for succulents. And number two would be the water propagation for succulents. Okay now, let's pick some mature leaves from our plant. Mature leaves usually come from the bottom part of our plant. Do not pick some unhealthy mature leaves because this will just detriment our propagation. For water propagation, all you need is a container, a pair of scissors, your clean rub, and your plant. For your leaves, make sure that the end of it is already air dried or it is already calloused. Now, let's get the clean rub and wrap it around the mouth of the container. But before anything else, let us make sure that the water in the container is not filled up until the top of it. Make sure that there is enough room for the plant to be put. Now, it is time to put a hole in the cling wrap to hold our leaves. As you can see, I have enough room for the leaves and it doesn't touch the water. Now, let's put another hole to provide ample aeration inside our container. That's it! Now, leave this container in a bright shaded area. Also check the water if it's also clean, else change it or replace it. For soil propagation, all you need is a soil mix and your plant. Again, make sure that your leaves or the bottom area of your leaf is already callous or air dried. Now just put the leaf at the top of the soil mix and leave it in a bright shaded area. And that's it! you've seen it so which do you think is easier for me the easier one would be the soil propagation because ilalagay mo lang siya dun and then you leave it you just need to mist it every other day however for water propagation i need to always change the water every day in order for me to ensure na walang tumi or walang fungi na namumuo dun sa loob ng container natin so I made an experiment about these two propagation techniques to know which one will work faster. Is it through soil propagation or is it through water propagation? the leaf from the water propagation technique and compared it to the biggest leaf from the soil propagation technique.
Now, as you can see, the water propagation technique lift is bigger and I think is much healthier. With that, I can say that although through water propagation technique is more difficult, it works faster and better. So guys, you've seen it again. Which do you think is faster? So for me, the one in water propagation is faster. I've had this one for two weeks already. More than two weeks, but not past three weeks. And then this one, the leaves of this one in water propagation is healthier and bigger. However, I have many leaves under soil propagation and then most of them are still small and then I had picked the biggest one in order to demonstrate and still this one in water propagation is still bigger. So, ayun guys, I hope na marami kayong natutunan dito sa episode natin tungkol sa propagation techniques sa mga succulents natin. Please comment down below what are your thoughts about propagation? Have you tried it? Which one is easier for you? And which one grew faster. So thank you guys. God bless.